My name's Dave Fuller, I'm the site manager of the Green Man Festival here in Krakow and Abergavenny. So basically all I do is I drive around and make sure everything's in the right place, making sure the contractors, whether they're fencing contractors, staging, marquees, big tops, are all doing it to the standard which you know, the directors of this festival want it done to. With the main stage, the main thing to do is to make sure it's positioned how we want, so the field of sight and vision is correct for you know the audience. Make sure it's done as quickly and as on time as possible to allow all the other services, the sounds, the lights, the decor people to come in, and mostly to just make sure it's safe. What goes into making the Green Man stage? Uh, this is called an orbit. It comes in three sizes, 12 metre, 15 and 18 metre. This is a 15 metre, so middle of the range. It's basically steel, aluminium and the plastic sheeting. The, all the base is made of steel, wooden boards, which are the stage and the roof. All the arches are made of aluminium, so it's easy to manhandle. The arches, which are the roof, are then bolted to that. Then when we put the sheets up, um, and they all slide into the, uh, the silver arches very, very easily. So we just climb over the arches. A few people climbing over and a couple of people feeding. But uh, and it'll take anything from one to three days, really, probably, depending on weather and how big the project is. Building the stage requires careful planning. Weather is my biggest enemy. If it's wet, it can really cause chaos. The logistics of it is, is making sure that the plan is available in each, for each contractor as quick as they can. Um, and it's like a domino's effect. If one person is held up, the whole cycle is held up. So to start with, uh, me and Nush would mark out. Then we go and put the stage in. Then we want electric in there so we could work in there at night. Then the lighting crews would come in. Then the sound crews would come in and then our side of it is pretty much up together. The stage itself, with the deck into the roof, I would imagine is about 40 tonnes of steelwork um, and canvas. And you would then look at maybe 18 to 20 tonnes of sound system, maybe another 12 tonnes of lighting rig. That's basically what's got to come in and out. And then obviously each act may have up to four or five tonnes of their own sound equipment or backline or instruments. So access up onto the back of stage through ramps and steps, you know, it's quite vital and it's, it's got to work and it's got to work very fast when the show is on. And it's heavy work. Logistically, I have to be sure that all the lorries, uh, whether they be tour buses, sound systems or whatever, they have to be able to get to the stage and off the stage. Lorries are fantastic on tarmac, but they're no good across fields. We use a lot of um, aluminium trackway here, which is more than capable of taking a 45 tonne Arctic lorry. It's very expensive to lay um, each of these panels at 2.4 metres is uh, 30 to 40 pounds, depending on how much you get. So you have to make sure you use it, maximise it in the right places. A lot of thought has gone into the design of this stage. The big thing about all these structures is wind loading. So the speaker decks, are they can have a skin around them, but you have to make sure that that skin has holes in it so that the wind can go through the holes and it's not, you know, otherwise it's difficult because you want it to look more attractive because otherwise there's two great big towers of steel there. It's not really a, a, a good, you know, an attractive thing, but you have to make sure that it's stable enough to, to deal with wind. And that's one of the bigger issues to do with the, that's why we have a structural engineer on site because they, um, that's what they're looking at, to see that the structure's solid, but it also can deal with wind. But the structural engineer in the, in the design stage of the stage would have done all their work then, and all the calculations for weights, wind speed, that would have all be done way before the stage was ever built, as you wouldn't have gone ahead and built it. So each has to come with its own structural report, risk assessment, and obviously building regulations. And the same as a, a, a modern day house is built with building regulations, all our stages have to comply exactly the same. All we do is try and have a crystal ball and guess how a festival might work. 